Hi there and welcome to my quick tutorial for Songs of Six, the new city building uh, simulator which is currently now in the early access and is one of the most ambitious projects I've seen lately on, uh, on Steam. And because I felt like it's pretty hard to get started, I felt like let's do a little tutorial video here too. The developer is, uh, was nice enough to put one up as well, so I'm going to uh, support him with even more of that. Should anything uh, substantially change in course of the early access, I might be redoing this video. But for now, let's just get started. We start out with, the, uh, with generating a map. I just leave the uh, this stuff all as it is. The starting race is not really uh, of a of big importance here. We can only configure a few basics, so let's go. So first up, we select where we are going to set up our uh, new little town. And uh, looking at this world map, it's really huge. It's really a large world map. And basically all of this is, uh, well, we can move through that. So to begin with, I would uh, always strongly suggest to uh, any newcomer like me to start somewhere close to mountains and uh, and forests because that will give you a nice mix of opportunities. So we're going to drop down our new uh, place here. You see in the stat readout a lot of things that uh, concern the game itself and uh, the more southern you get you ultimately will have the chance to uh, farm opiates. I haven't uh, done that yet but I wanted to mention it how funny I think it is to have a game where we can farm opium. But whatever. So we're going to put down our city here. Just left click that square and now uh, we are receiving a, a close-up of this area. So, um, judging from all of this, uh, so uh, let's press the M button. This uh, brings up the map. So he say hello to your uh, new town area. That all is your map where you can actually build. This is all a cavern system and uh, the dark green dots here are uh, farmable wood areas and uh, to begin with I would always uh, strongly suggest you to have uh, some source of wood and some source of stone because these are the most basic materials to work with so I'd say this seems like a nice spot so let's drop down our throne here the throne is uh, where we're going to reign and uh, the throne starts out with a few basic resources you start with cotton stone wood fruit grain and mushroom. Your people will live off of these things, but uh, there are a few things we have to do before uh, we can get started. So um, first up, here are your complete uh, amount of people. This here shows how many people are in work. So um, to begin with, uh, we go down here and uh, we select resource collectors. Um, always designate at least one woodcutter. You see here those blue mark thingies are uh, where the woodcutter will work. And we click there and uh, then we're going to set up another quarry because uh, stone is yet another very very necessary resource in the, in the early game or well, generally in the game and you see here those blue dots are marking where we can put up the quarry so after that's uh, been done we unpause the game for a moment and you notice here that already four of the people are uh, heading over to the quarries and you can when you click here you see there's uh, the amount of buildings there's uh, how many people are working there because the starting resources won't be enough ever. So next steps are um, setting up some food. Um, really really important to know is that your farms will cost fruit. So if you want to build a fruit farm you need to invest fruit. I would uh, suggest you some uh, grid like 8 on 8 and you can see here fertility, how many farmers and uh, what kind of output it will bring. So we're going to put up a f one fruit farm, one grain farm, just the materials we are uh, we are seeing here, and uh, next up will be one mushroom farm. Mushroom farms are a little bit different because they are uh, not uh, on the outside; they are inside buildings, and. Uh, you have to put them like that. These blue thingies here are the outside walls and everything that has outside walls needs doors. You can select doorways here and then we designate a doorway there and now our people will be able to work on that. Oops. 
right click and canceled it here we go so uh, we select now construct and these orders have been made so let's unpause the game for a moment and we we might be noticing uh, nothing so far so every free uh, colonist or uh, citizen will uh, will now begin working on these farms and I'm going to pause this video for a moment until these farms are built be right back in a second my friends so there we are back at our little place so the farms have been built and uh, the last few uh, steps on the uh, mushroom farm are uh, are being made I just wanted to go in there to show you how it uh, looks like you see here with a construction process of 15% um, those little blue grids here show you how, which uh, tiles still have to be worked upon so uh, we're just speeding that up and now um, these materials will be invested and you see here necessary materials wood and uh, mushrooms I always start out with these uh, farms basically because I want to make sure that I still have these materials to kickstart the production before anything else uh, happens so um, now six people are busy in our uh, colony you can always uh or, well colony is not exactly the right word town so you can always uh, click those and you see here um the amount of workload and uh a lot of other useful stats and how many people are employed there really important here because uh the amount of employed people in a certain area is up to you. All right, so now we got the most important things uh, nailed down, except for one very, very important thing, and that's uh, the warehouse. You will need a warehouse to uh, store your goods, and uh, ultimately, I'd uh, strongly suggest it to, um, to make it large enough. But since I now have a uh, intake of stone and wood, I have all the time it takes. So yet again, we build up a uh, door here, but unlike um, the uh, mushroom um, farm, this building now needs crates to work. And uh, here you have that button and we can take these uh, crates. With the E and the Q, you can uh, see here, put more in a line at once. You can, uh, with e, if we keep pressing E, we keep uh, lots of different uh, designators. And you see down there how the uh, storage changes. So um, I want to do uh, the smallest chests for now because we're uh, really poor. And uh, so we're going to start with uh, like nine chests. Here you can see how the costs increase and increase. And uh, there we go. So uh, we are, rooms will be blocked. Oh, I forgot to put up a doorway here. So the building, the game doesn't let you build those uh, things without doorways. So um, now this uh, storehouse will be built and uh, now we need only one more thing until we have the most basic things down and that's the dormitory. The dormitory is the most basic sleeping spot for your people but it's also the just what we need. So like um, the storage Every uh, advanced building has such uh, extra thingies like here, beds and knickknacks. You will see those in a lot of other uh, things in the game too. So um, here I want to expand that a bit because, uh, well, we got 10 people. So uh, this will bring uh, enough sleeping spot for 24 people. Yes, it's only a uncozy dormitory, but who cares? Somebody, we have to start somewhere. But um, as we see here now, um, there will be a new resource necessary called furniture. This is uh, a resource which is uh, basically just produced out of wood. And that was just my cat uh, dropping from a little uh, out of her uh, sleeping place. So meanwhile, my people here are creating the wood and the stone. And it can't be storaged until the warehouse is completed. So. Um, Therefore, we're gonna pause for a moment until these new buildings have been finished. Be right back in a second, my friends. All right, so now the storehouse is reaching its completion. We're uh, almost done here. So um, what I did in the meantime was uh, plugging in a few more woodcutters because, uh, well, right now six people are working in the woodcutting industry because it took uh, way too long to get things going here. So now we finally got that warehouse. So let's uh, pause the game for a moment here. So I got nine crates available and now let's uh, configure this. I need um, a storage for fruit, grain, meat, because we also hunt animals later down the road. 
and uh, mushrooms, stones, wood, and let's say, uh, since we're producing that later too, furniture and uh, cotton, because we're going to need that too. Cotton and uh, let's say fabric maybe, or no, pelts, because pelts are a side product here too. And you see here now all those crates are full, and uh, I will now... Well, fetch is only necessary if there are uh, different stockpiles. For now, we can leave it like that. We have to employ, of course, one person in here. And now what ha happens is that this one guy employed here will start to allocate these items and put them into the storehouse. If you ever run out of uh, workers, um, here you see um, the amount of people, and you might already have noticed it's more than 10. So this plus one here is the available immigration towards your place. If you just double click that, you see here these uh, guys will be added in. So we still suffer from the problem that this dormitory won't be uh, finished because I don't have the necessary furniture. Furniture is being made in the um, carpenter's workshop and we're going to set up one of those and this is going to be basically the last step of the um, beginner's uh, tutorial here. So um, we will need a workbench. So let's put this in here. With the R button you can rotate those. And an auxiliary station, well that's only for the efficiency of the room, but uh, well, efficiency amps up the work speed. So um, there we go. It also needs a door. And of course you can build those things uh, smaller than I do here, the faster they get done. But I do prefer to uh, work with uh, larger buildings to begin with, uh, due to a simple reason. I can expand them later if I need to, because all of these rooms can be uh, renovated by putting this here. Expand room. All room progress will be lost and all employees fired. Yeah, obviously. So it's a complete reconfiguration of that room. So um, I want to show you one time uh, how this looks like when you're... Uh, not skipping it so first people are paving the ground and then they'll start building they always need to prepare the flooring like that and uh, now uh, we're seeing those materials in the storage here too also um, if you want to gather food uh, the white dots on the map here are uh, wild animals and you can hunt those with uh, by putting down a resource collector here a hunting outpost and uh, just like uh, with any other part of the game too, those blue designators uh, show you where you can put down those thingies. So, there we go. Alright, so uh, now the uh, hunting outpost has workers too, and uh, they'll start hunting those animals and uh, pick up the meat and the pelt there which will ultimately land here in your storehouse. So, um, now the workshop for the furniture is being done too soon. So, um, yeah, as you see here, it's uh, the same pro process. First they prepare, then they start to haul the materials over there. Now, Right now they're building the outer shell of the building. And then here you see uh, a problem that might show up. These little icons here are showing that both uh, buildings need wood. And since I don't want that dormitory uh, to be built before, there's uh, here the prioritize job uh, order, which you can just uh, fling over these. Now the game will prioritize this job over that job. Just uh, quite useful. So overall, um, our colony is by now living mostly off of the meat because, uh, well, the agriculture was just uh, a start. This is not enough agriculture, but uh, that doesn't matter because now I got the agriculture running to uh, recreate those seeds and build bigger farms. And that's why I always start with the farms. This is never enough, but it's uh, enough to uh, get your production started and uh, Otherwise, you want to start farming and you don't have the necessary materials anymore, and that's a really uh, sad moment to happen. So, the carpenter is uh, being finished any moment, and uh, as you see there, now we're constructing it. So, the last part of the pro process is always uh, when the uh, building is actually getting floored nicely and such. And now they're building the workstations, and once that's all done, um, the uh, carpenter's shop is uh, finished. And uh, now um, the furniture can be produced. There are uh, four people employed here, and they now produce furniture out of wood. And once that's done, the dormitory can be done too, and then everybody has a sleeping place. And uh, 
that's pretty much it. Um, of course, you can do the, you're you're not at the end of everything with that. The game has uh, much more in store for you, but um, all these things work more or less quite similar. Um, like uh, here, the carpenter. Per, um, processes these materials and uh, the other uh, workshops work similar like the mason turns stone into cut stone the tailor sews clothes from fabric or pelts and so on so uh, you'll always need these uh, things here to start with and the rest well the rest will just explain itself along the way and I hope that uh, this little uh, tutorial here was helpful for you as well if you want to get started with the game. So I strongly expect that there will be a lot of uh, changes uh, later down the road because uh, the developer himself uh, expects to uh, develop this game for uh, like uh, I read something somewhere something about uh, several years even five or such so um well I gotta admit this game has a terrible amount of uh, potential and uh, or well, I should rather say a terrific amount of potential and I can't wait to see where this uh, gets into because uh, to me as a hardcore RimWorld player I gotta say this game looks like it has everything it might need to uh, satisfy Everybody who wants a nice medieval city-state uh, colony uh, or well, bil city-state builder simulation. There's war in it, trade in it, and uh, well, there's going to be more and more. So I hope this uh, was uh, quite helpful for you guys. So uh, the furniture is sadly not uh, not finished as quick as I am uh, finished with that video, but I guess you got the idea. So uh, once the dormitory is finished, everybody got sleeping places, and then we have to uh, amp that up, and so on and so forth. So thank you so much for watching. If there are any questions remaining, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Or if you have any other comments, I love to hear from you guys, and I hope that I was able to uh, in inspire your curiosity about this game or able to help you if you were uh, wondering about how to get started here just like I was when I started with the demo. So my friends, here uh, we're going to outro here with the dormitory being co uh, fully constructed. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, I'd be deeply delighted if you could help me on uh, making this video a little bit more popular and uh, showing the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed your time here. So um, yeah, until then, I hope you're having a great time and uh, we're going to have finished sleeping places here. All right, see you soon, goodbye.